Hey guys, um, okay, so I did a video a little while back on um, brazing or the basics of brazing. Um, I, this is a, a, a finished frame, a custom frame that I've, um, I've just had powder coated. Uh, it's got to have a little YJ body on it, a little Tamiya YJ body on it. Um, I, um, I'll put a link in the description to that brazing video and also my Instagram. So if, if you did want to have a look at the progress on, on this particular build, you can and my other builds. Um, I also I actually asked whether you guys wanted me to do a little video on bending, so I thought I'd uh, thought I'd do one. Now what we're going to do today is um, I'll show you how to do a, a closed hoop. So basically, um, you 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 would you would uh, a hoop so, sort of similar to this, I guess. Um, so you come up and around with a hoop there, and then back down. Um, and um, uh, I mean that's a, a common thing that you'll need to um, I guess fabricate if you're doing a custom cage. Um, uh, and in this case, let's do something like, you know, I've drawn this out, which is, um, so you'd come up uh, and then you'd have a bend here, come along, uh, bend and then back down. In this particular example, let's go 140 mil. Um, so I'm talking metric here. Um, so I'm sorry for you Imperial folk. Um, so 140 mil overall that we want to achieve here um, in, in terms of your width of the hoop. Okay, so a few things you need, um, a template. Now this is one that I made earlier. I paint it, I've painted it um, red oxide so I don't lose it. Um, I'll go through how we make that because that's something that you'll have with you all the time when you're making hoops or when you're bending. It's, um, that's our little template. So we've got our tube template and our paper template. So always draw out what you need to, to draw out, uh, what, you need, what, what you need to, um, I guess, achieve or, or fabricate. All right, let's, let's start with the template. Um, template here, well, this is basically is a bit of scrap, a bit of offcut. Now you can make it whatever size you like. If you're wanting to make it the same size as what I've got, we're looking at 70 mil. Grab your um, grab your tube bender. Alrighty, now tube benders are all obviously they're all going to be different. Um, I will put a link to the description in the description of where I bought this from. Um, now every tube bender is different, but you need to choose a reference point on your tube bender. Now my reference point, I'm using this wheel here. Um, so put your tube, your offcut in in the tube bender. Now, my reference point is right here. Whatever you choose as your reference point, that's what you're going to be using every time you do a tube bend. Uh, doesn't matter what it is, as long it's, as it's in the same spot or you use that reference point when you're measuring. So, I'm actually using that wheel. Tube, the, the, that offcut goes in. Um, I'll use the tape measure here. So, we're going to go from that wheel, 20 mil. Is that 22 mil? I'll move that in a little bit. Now this measurement 20 mil, you can again choose whatever whatever measurement you want. I'm choosing 20 mil because I can I can remember 20. It's an even number. Why not? So there you go, 20 mil. You can make it 10 mil, 15, 30, whatever you like. But um, for the purpose of this exercise, we'll make it 20 mil. So right there, tape against the wheel, 20 mil to the edge of that tube. Bend. Do a 90. And essentially, that's that's our template. Now. Remember, well, I've just, I'm just going to mark this so we don't get confused. This is the 20 mil um, length there, not that's your 20 mil there that we've measured. That's your 20 mil, not that one, and that's why I've made this a little bit shorter because um, this is the length that we need that 20 mil. Now you can make you can make this as long or as short as you want, but as long as you recognize that um, it's irrelevant, but as long as it's the 20 mil um, or that number that you've chosen, that's gonna be your, uh, the important, um, I guess, side of that template that you need to use. Alrighty, so we've got um, this drawn out. Like I said, 140 mil in width, overall width that is, so that it is from outside to outside 140 mil. Get yourself your, your, your length of, um, tube that you want to bend. Now, I um, uh, you, you work from the center out. So basically, you, you, I've got my center line there. Um, and um, let's mark the center line on this tube as well, which is, what have we got there? We've got 240, so that's 120 mil. We'll just mark that there, 120 mil. Okay, place that in the center. And um, you work from the center out. Um, always a good, uh, rule to uh, to use. Now you get your, your your metal or your tube template, and you essentially place that um, on the edge of the the outside edge of where you want uh, the, the the hoop to finish. So in that in this case, right there, and then we get our pen, 
Uh, this straight tube's obviously centered. I've got that lined up with that center mark there and there. Uh, then we actually uh, just mark the where, where that edge of this template finishes. Now that's where we're going to make the, um, well, I won't skip ahead. So basically, um, remember that mark there, you put the tube into the bender. Now this is where the 20 mil comes into play. You put your tape against your reference point, whatever that is on your bender, and you make sure that that mark is your 20, is 20 mil or the number that you've chosen. So there we go. Tape against the wheel, my reference point. You can see there, I hope you can see that, 20 mil to that black mark. Now that's where you bend. Do your 90. There you go. So if we put that back, that center point there should line up with the center point on my paper template. And then if we look over to your to the edge here, spot on. There you go, that lines up. That's one side done. Alrighty. Now we get this and we flip it over. We put the tube template again on this edge here, and then we mark right there, at the edge of the template, where the template finishes. Then, I'm gonna mark that all the way around actually. There we go. Just to line that up, there we go. You can see how that works. Then you grab that, and you put that into your tube bender. Now, we get the tape measure and we get that reference number. Again, 20 mil, if I actually fluke that, that's about 20 mil right there. It's probably a smidge too long. There we go, 20 mil. So from there to that mark is that, is that reference number, 20 mil. And I'll just line that up so you don't have a skew if hoop and you bend. Now, hopefully this works. Um, and there you go. That's actually probably got a little bit more on that because I didn't um, I didn't go enough on the, on the bend. Just a tad more. And line that center up there. And then, let me show that again. Line that center up. There we go. Perfect in line with that um, that, that uh, mark there. And we're looking on this side in line with that mark there. So there you go. One hoop made. So yeah, um, that's how you make a hoop. I hope that helps. Um, like I said, the most important thing is getting a template. Um, uh, like what I do, I've just painted mine uh, uh, red oxide, paint it whatever you like, do whatever you like, as long as, long as you, it is something that you will need every time. So um, keep that handy. Um, mark out your, um, your hoop that you wanna, that you wanna make on a, on a piece of paper and just, uh, just practice. Um, it'll, um, look, it'll take a few goes, you'll go through a lot of tube, uh, you know, making mistakes, but uh, that's how you learn. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to the description of, um, of the abrasing video, um, where I bought my tube bender from, and also a link to my Instagram if you want to check out some of my work. Thanks for watching.